What's going on, everybody? It's Big T back with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We are kicking things off looking for actually not even going to tell you. I'm just going to show you. We're out here by San Bacar Tower. Oh, my God. This time is not just one, is it? We're at San Bacar Tower and I'm trying to upgrade us just a little bit. I want to uh, I feel like we're, we're pretty high. We're pretty high level. We got decent levels, but I could do with just a little bit of work, do a little bit better. Um, so that is the goal because there's something here who lives here that I am looking for. And I do plan to find it. <clears throat> Problem is, I just don't know. Off on another adventure, are we? Where exactly we will find this? But it is in this general area. I had to look it up. Damn it! There you go. What's up with these butterflies? <clears throat> I gotta keep. Looking at the map, I think I'm a little, a little bit too close. I think we need to go back where the path was, was moving up. And then, oh, what is that sound, dog? I don't know what that was. Let's go back here where there's a path. Okay. Getting closer. Ah. Ah. We found them. The Nifflers. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Uh, oh, get him. Rescue him. All right. Got us a Niffler. That, uh, that's what I needed in order to upgrade some of the stuff. Um, a few of the things needed Niffler fur. So that's what I just got. Got the Niffler. I'm going to pet him, feed him, get his fur, take it, upgrade my gear, and then we will set forth on, um, seems like Deke, Deke's got a quest for us as well. Um, Sell beasts at brood and peg to open space for this species in the vivarium. I just don't understand. Not gonna lie, I still kind of don't understand the. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay. Like, is a niffler and you know, is that really the same species as a puff puff scheme? I don't species limit reach, or can I only? Oh, species four out of four. How many different species of things are there? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Come here, get this brushing, boy. You gonna take this brush? Is it? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, he's loving that. Get you a little food too. Yes, sir. Okay, we got us three furs. Okay, I think that's enough. That's enough. <clears throat> okay, so we take this back to the loom now. And yes, yes, indeed, it was. Let's upgrade that. Um, damn, I need three Jabbernaw feathers. I think. I think he's on. Uh, I think he's done with his cooldown, the Jabbernaw. I don't know if I have him out, though. Is the Jabbernaw out? Oh, he's out here. Where is he? It's that big motherfucker. Where's my Jabbernaw? Oh, there he is. Look at him. Yo. Well, damn, I can't... Okay.
I honestly should do more with the vivarium because this is such like as if the game wasn't deep and expansive enough you have this entirely new little world here to take care of all the different creatures like you could spend so much time with this game like if i really wanted to and went to a hundred percent i mean it would just take months like there's months of gameplay in this game we need a grap horn horn hippograph feather okay um i think that's all yeah fooper feather we don't have and then damn i just need one more jobber and all feather and we'd be able to do that okay so we got decently upgraded there. Let's see where that puts us on the gear chart. Yeah, 231, 237 um, offense and, and defense. Let me make sure. Oh, we need to take this to, <clears throat> to the desk real quick. Let's see if we get anything good. But like, I'm going to be pissed if it's good. <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, but it's just a coat. It's just a coat, though. That's actually perfect, because that was the one piece I think I hadn't, uh, wait, no, I did upgrade it, god damn it. I definitely did. <clears throat> okay, um, yeah, it's so much better, bro. 56 to 77. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta upgrade it. Oops. Has to be done. But now I guess to upgrade... To upgrade it now... Okay, so it's only three Moonka furs. Okay, so let me... <laughs> let me go back real quick. Just one more. One more petting session. Um, yeah, I'm looking at you, little guy. <clears throat> he should give us three furs. That'll at least give us enough to uh to upgrade it once oh there we go oh i got five furs damn all right there we go now we'll come over here look to upgrade that and so that's real hair i can do i just need a fooper damn so what does that put us at 258 offense, 231 defense. I feel powerful. I feel very powerful. Okay, let's check out the quests, see what we got. Grief and Vengeance, uh, speak with Natty. So we still don't have any um, stuff. I would like to do this one though. This is another one of the broom trials, but uh, it'll be our third and final, <laughs> third and final broom upgrade. That shit, we'd be flying. Fast as shit, boy. Um, wow, that's a long way. Let's just go here, I guess. <clears throat> she did say it was the south, the south coast trial. Let's just hop on the broom here. And take off. Hopefully, it'll let us fly over the mountain. But I'm. Not counting on it. It's probably gonna make us go around. Okay, I'm gonna fly all the way over here, and then we'll hit this. Uh, we'll hit this trial. All right, I see it. This is the final trial. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Yeah, what is she doing all the way out here? Hello again, Amelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously, evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to be. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Fair, won't we? I'm ready. 
and get ready to lose. Whatever you say. Well, let's go then. Oh, that's that wasn't too difficult. that's her ghost, is what that is. Got it. Shit. Damn, yeah, this one's a little a little more difficult. Yeah, that's definitely her uh, her ghost. I can't pop the balloons and do that at the same time, I don't think. <laughs> now that's more like it. Made it. I don't think you're supposed to. Maybe you are. <clears throat> Absolutely smoking her once again. Dude, I wish there was a first person Excellent. POV view. I'm actually not certain that I'm like winning. We're only just over halfway. This is going well. And or at least halfway through the rings. Our dummy's not ahead of me though, so we should be good. Maybe there's a lot of rings at the end that are like right next to each other. I don't know. Oh, damn, almost missed that one. Oh, shit, I missed all the things. Oh! Jesus Christ. Pretty fine. I do say so myself. I can't see shit. Okay, we got it. We got it. Hey, that one was fun, though. Brilliant. That was sick. <clears throat> Imelda, I did it again. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? I want to hear a little bit from her. Say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puzzlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. <laughs> Don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team. But which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. Same. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. You're an asset to our house. Thanks. Take care of yourself. Wait, so is she the only one that has a... Bro, this ruby. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. The ruby beat me on every course. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, return to Albi Week. So the whole reason we did that was so we could get our um, <clears throat> last and final broom upgrade. I don't know if it'll be available 
immediately, but I think he'll take whatever we tell him and then he'll work on it for a little bit. Send us an owl and then we'll be able to get our last broom upgrade. But that shit's expensive. The last one was 4,000 fucking, what do they call them? Uh, not rubies. As my favorite gold. Best, I'm going to just call them gold. What are we looking for today? Huh? I don't want to buy none. I came to tell you what happened. But I will sell some stuff while we're here. Uh, might need those gray Quidditch gloves. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I'm very confused. Do I talk to you or not? Okay. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. No, you didn't. Think your broom performed well then? The best upgrade yet. Ruby did. Beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course. Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. No problem, brother. No problem. Couldn't have done this without you. Okay, completed another quest. 180 XP. Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. That didn't push us over level 26, my ass. 180 XP? I don't believe it. Alright, um... Well, I guess let's speak with, uh... Speak with Natty. He's 632 meters away. She must be back at, uh... Yeah, she's back at... Back at the castle. Okay. <clears throat> let's go to the Great Hall. I'm imagining as soon as we get level 27... We're gonna get some more stuff. Some more main storyline quest to... I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <sighs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them and then he was gone. And it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He and my mother 
Raise me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Yeah. Thank you again <clears throat> for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. No problem, that's no problem. Got everybody just eating. What are y'all eating? What you got? Okay, I see the big bread. Them some sweet potatoes or turkey legs. Those are turkey legs. Um, oh, they got some hand pies. That's a big ass turkey right there. More bread, tomatoes, sandwiches. Oh, I see corn on the cob. Okay, they're eating. That's a nice little Christmas. Christmas right something. How do I not have this field guide page? The lectern. Whoa. Finally level 27. Let's go. Where have you been? Lumos. Little guy. Let's find your home. I feel like I saw it over here. Nope. That's something different, but we could do that thing now. It's gotta be... It's gotta be upstairs, no? Y'all see a mirror up here? Huh. Would they put it in a different room? Ah, oh, they did. Okay. Oh, and with level 27, we should have another talent point too. What'd I say I was gonna spend it on? Stealth, right? Enemy's ability. Do I want it on stealth or do we have another spell we can use? I use Defendo a lot. So Defendo casts slice through impacted enemies to strike additional targets. So I can hit multiple, just drop my phone. You can hit multiple people. Um, core, we could do some of the dark arts. Uh, Crucio, okay. Defeating a cursed enemy restores. Huge successful strike. I just, I feel like the only cursed thing I'm going to use eventually is. Oh, uh, this works with like Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus, not Ramus. I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the stealth, bro. Because I use it. I use it a lot. <sighs> Another sense of secrecy. <clears throat> Okay, um, 
So we've got a few. Wow, we really worked down uh, the quest, though. Okay, let's talk to... Let's talk to Poppy. Is she right here? No. It's 200 meters away. Oh, she's just... Out on the lawn. Fuck it. <clears throat> we'll travel to the beast class first. Yeah, I don't know. I've probably been playing for like... Two hours with no no additional main quests popping up. I think I'm just not a high enough level. <clears throat> it's probably the game telling me, do some side quests, level up. And that's that's what I'm doing. It's good, Poppy. Oh, good, you're safe. Yes. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. Oh, hell no. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. What's a Snidget? Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. So you can only find them I at night. I you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Hell yeah. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. And how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. All good, all good. Another quest complete, the poacher's house call. I want to go talk to a centaur. <clears throat> Did I end up... No, okay. I was going to say I didn't think I used that potion. Okay. You could do better than that. Say what? Defender. Defendo, bitch. Um, man. Every time I get a good look at the castle, I'm just mind blown. I still, it's been a while since I started playing this game. I just, I can't I get over that this is a real game. But trolls have no business in <clears throat> it's so good. It's actually so good. Um, okay, so, yeah, meet, meet Sebastian at the southern coast, and then... It's just everything, uh... Everything's gone. Everything's a question mark. 
So let's go to the room of requirement. I'm going to do every damn... I can't do the Gladwin Moon one because, <clears throat> I'll be honest, I'm probably never going to find all the moons. It's it's too difficult. An idea to share with you. What's the idea, Deke? Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. Yes, I would like that. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. Love that. Hey, what do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? I got two! I've seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from tomes and scrolls and gather <clears throat> the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Dude, I honestly want to say that we have it. I just don't know if one's a male and one's a female. Um, so we got this one. Add beast. We have a male and a female. Okay, so the hardest part is done. We have two Thestrals. Um, so all we need to do is go to Hogsmeade, to Tomes and Scrolls, buy the breeding pen and whatever... <clears throat> Whatever materials it takes, and then bam. Sometimes it seems all already done. Hogsmeade. Excuse me, excuse me. It's another cat in the road. I'm waiting for one of these cats to be a wizard when I go to pet it. Take your time looking about. It's good. Thomas Brown has been a little bit, brother. To stoke a curious mind like yours. Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Okay. So that's done. Back to Hogwarts. Back to the room of requirement. This is going to be the fastest quest I've probably ever done. <clears throat> All right, Deke. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Oh, new room, new room. Okay, so I got to take them out of the middle one. Swamp? I can put him in a swamp? Deke never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. All right, give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, so here we go. Let's manage the beast. Uh, we got to move this to inventory. Move that. Bam. Uh, and now let's, I guess, I guess come up here and put them in a swamp. Seems kind of fucked up, but, um, okay, conjuration. Beast items, breeding pen. Damn. All right. So there's the breeding pen. How's that? Close the door on him. Close the door on him. Oh. Use the breeding pen. 
You can breed offspring. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, I did it. Breeding time remaining. 29 minutes. Damn. Last longer than me, brother. You just sleeping in there? All right. Okay, so we'll come back to that once, um, I guess, 30 minutes of game time has passed. And we'll talk to... Oh, wait. Actually, can't I just... Um, can't you just speed up time? How come I can't sleep? Let me go to a different room real quick so I'm not in a secret room. I think I might have to be... Like, out in the world? Yeah. Just advance time a little bit. Okay. And then go back to the room of requirement. This is a lot of... Fast traveling. And then if we go back and check, I don't know for sure if that works, if you can like game the system. You cannot game the system. Okay. Never mind. It it does not matter. If um if you speed up time. It was worth a shot though. Okay, but it did say we had a new quest available. Finding Focus. I received an owl from Natty requesting that I speak with her. I haven't heard much from her in the way of next steps for taking down Harlow. She wants me to meet with her in the Great Hall. And then surprise meeting. Last I talked to uh, Poppy. Okay. I guess we'll. I guess we'll do another side quest. It just. It just ain't giving me quests to do. I don't. Just, I don't fucking know. Don't know what. I don't know what to do. Um, she's back in the great hall. Okay, Let's see what she's got for us. How nice to see you, my young friend. <laughs> Some days are more difficult than others. That's true. Nasi, is everything all right? There are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind. And I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Mati Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. I'm sorry, Natty. I wish there was something I could do to help. You have done plenty. In fact, many of my good days are good because of you. The bad days, however. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Halo. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. I'm going to be honest. I just Googled this shit and figured out what we got to do. <laughs> she was talking. Okay, so we need to go to the owl post. And we should have an owl from Logdoc. He actually has another one. I found one of Ranrock's drills in a mine along the shore. I intend to destroy it. I'm tired of trying to reason with him. You are welcome to join me, but if I don't see you there, I will reach out when I return. I have something to give you. And that is supposedly what is supposed to, yeah, start the next quest. So, yeah, getting, getting the second one was, um... Honestly, I was probably never going to figure that out. I was I was not going to check all my owls. But, um, okay. There we go. Logdoc's loyalty. Uh, there we go. I guess we've already been to the mine. Oh, this is right next to where we, we met Sebastian. 
That's what it was. Well, imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. <laughs> Shit. Most goblins in my family worked in the mines at one time or other. This place stinks of Ranrock and his cronies. No sign of Lodgok out here. He must be inside already. Here we go. Let's see if them upgrades helped us. I'm gonna try to use this potion too. Look at the size of this mine. Something seems wrong. Rebellion. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. It's good, boys. <laughs> This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. Whoa. Like but I'm in the driver's seat this time. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Something seems wrong. How deep will this take? Red Rock's gonna be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? I'll put it in with its part, will ya? That has to be the end up ahead. That was fun. Rebellion. Well, it took me a while to figure out how to do this quest, but at the same time, Instant forced me to do a lot of side quests and level up. Got to pull on that. I wonder where these pipes go. Revelio. Gotta grab that sack when you get a chance. Oh. Ah. Don't come over here looking, bro. Absolutely smoking these fools. Revelio. It's it. Revelio. Oh shit. Kind of just wanted to see what this was over here. Not Accio, I need I need to Wingardia. I don't think I need a Levioso this one. What y'all got up here now? Ah, it's a level three. I don't have a level three. Is there another dude right here? I think he's above me, behind me. I don't know if I should hop on this elevator or what. I think I'm gonna hop on the elevator. Oh. That's a big ass troll right there. Can I Petrificus Totalis that big motherfucker? Nope. 
He has a name. That's how you know he's a bad son of a bitch. Yeah, we might just have to... We might just have to fight them. Actually, no, I can do my... Did I just get hit? They don't know I'm here, right? Damn! Just absolutely smoked them. Ah, oh, it won't let me loot it while they're fighting. Sheesh. Now it's just me and him. Oh shit, he, he knows I'm here, he knows. Alright. Wait, you're still alive? Oh shit, there's multiple of y'all. Where the fuck did y'all even come from? Oh. Some of that magic, man. Skr, skr. Come on, then. Oh, that was a nice throw, I guess. Bombarda, defender. <clears throat> that is big as my potions. Neck item. Rebellion. Wait, was this not even part of the? Was this all just for that little? Oh hell no. Oh, I fucked up, y'all. That whole fight wasn't even necessary. That was just so I could get that one item. Now I, now I feel a little goofy. This takes a while. All right, pull us down this side. I can't believe I just did all that.
Hello. Oh. Oh shit, I need a... This is a lot of little fucking trolls. I'm trying to... I gotta get this yellow guy. Yeah, no shit. I don't have a fucking Leviosa right now. So we'll do it that way. Right now, I have to destroy the drill and stop Round Rock's loyalists. Do they? Yeah, they definitely know I'm here. Right? <laughs> Can I just get out of here, brother? I didn't dodge that. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Oh. Okay, me and you, buddy. Yo, that was a crazy good combo. Incendium. It's fucked up. What? I was trying to... Hit the fucking Leviosa guy. There we go. You've won less follower, Ranrock. That was crazy. These fights are definitely getting harder as uh, 
as time kind of goes on. What did that say? Collapse all pillars. Okay. Confringo. Bombada. Confringo. I have to find a way to stop that drill. I should probably get out of there, huh? What's up? You wanna fucking go? He's that little? He's unfortunate. No matter. We will build another. I found this one looking outside. Lord Gok. Come to make amends, little brother. I came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? Consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching in vain for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind. Shoot, he tried to kill him. <laughs> I'm out of here. Dude, I feel bad for Lodcock. hand no wonder he tried so hard to reason with him it's messed up man it's real messed up now to get out of this blasted place he was just trying to do some good i'll send word to fig to meet me in the map chamber he and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. I'm not even gonna mess with that that troll right there. Um let's go map chamber. I gotta tell y'all some shit. Who wants to hear it? Go to the map chamber. Oh, that was too fast. <laughs> I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. 
Lord Gok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. I can do that. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Wow. Okay, meet Professor Fig at Sandbacar's pensive chamber, which seems to be... Yeah, it's pretty far away. 3,600 meters. All right, everybody, I think that is a good spot to end this episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We are... We're getting close to, uh, to the end game feels like here so probably got a, a few more main main story missions left and that will that will conclude um hogwarts legacy so been an incredible game so far i can't wait to uh to see how it ends up so thank you all for tuning in stay tuned for the next episode and i will catch you right back here next time if you did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance and as always guys i don't really have a